Hi, I'm Pat Morgan, a senior scientist at Lycor Biosciences. Today I'm going to talk to you about maintenance on the brand new 6800. Fil some of the things that you need to worry about when you're working with the instrument are changing the filters. Now, our experience is not real great with this on when that frequency needs to happen, but we've done a lot of things to make it very nice. You notice the chemical columns come off quickly off the back of the instrument, quarter turn, they come right off and you can access the system filter by a quarter turn of the black cap that you'll find on the back and right there you can see the filter itself. That filter is removed, it's held in place by an o-ring, you simply pull it off, you can put a new one back on and you want to install this back on the instrument. There, note that there's a little hole down here at the bottom, that little hole is the air inlet for the system, you want to have that pointed down so that hole is pointed to the side of the instrument. You turn this a quarter turn, the hole is now pointed down. That way it prevents any air, that, any water that may be on the system from getting sucked into the instrument. Um, on the sensor head, if you remove the chamber, inside here are two filters. And you can once again visually see those filters and inspect them for when they're getting clogged and need to be replaced. So simply come out with a screwdriver, takes those two filters out and you can replace those two filters. You don't want to try and clean those filters because they're a very small pore and you can damage that material and that will result in contaminants getting back to the erga, which will be a second video on how to clean that if you do get contamination back in the erga. We, on the old 6400 system, we had a filter on the CO2 injector. On this system, there is no filter, so it's important to make sure that you're using the uh, oil-free CO2 cartridges instead of any that contain oil. Oil will damage this system. The last set of filters are contained in the chemical columns. The chemical columns are clear so you can actually look and visually inspect those filters for any sort of contamination. If you do see that they need to be replaced, you simply reach down in, grasp the rubber boot that surrounds that filter, pull it out, roll the rubber boot down off the filter, and you can replace that filter. Put a new filter into the rubber boot. You want to seat that down on there and then it's simply a matter of reinstalling that by pushing that filter in place on the chemical columns. On the system we have a few o-rings that are contained within it. The first one being over on the, column, the console. If you remove the CO2 injector cap, uh, you'll see that up underneath there is a small white o-ring. That o-ring is captured, so it should be retained every time you take and change a CO2 cartridge but occasionally you want to inspect that for dust, dirt, contamination, or make sure it's in place. The other O-ring that we have on the system that you want to inspect is on the sensor head. So we removed the chamber and you can see that there is an O-ring that is contained around the sensor head, the mating plate between the sensor head and a chamber. So when you change chambers, you want to inspect that to make sure it's in place, not contaminated or dusty or dirty that would cause leaks. There are also some bellows on the system. These bellows act as a hinge for the chambers, but they also are the air passage for air from the mixing volume out to the chamber. Those bellows are here. They're made out of neoprene, so they should be fairly robust, but if you do need to replace those, they can be simply removed by taking some screws loose and changing those out. We do supply some of those in the spares kit that you would have got with the instrument. And now for those of you that have used the 6400, you may be asking, what about the fuses? Well, on the new 6800, there are no fuses that you ever have to change. There are fuses inside the system, they're thermal reset fuses, so if there's a fault, the fuse opens and then once it cools back down, it will reset itself automatically so you never have to change those fuses out. So this is just some of the maintenance of the 6800. More details can be found in the user manual or on the website. And as always, you can contact Lycor Technical Support for additional information on the system.